get out of them aside from the obvious venting and grandstanding? Well, the, the first thing we're hearing about is sort of the historical background of how AIG got into this mess and what the prospects are for AIG repaying the taxpayer's investment. Uh, the second part is the part that everybody's focused on, uh, CEO Liddy coming before Congress to say that the need to give out bonuses was distasteful. And, and Congressman, what do you what do you make of that? And and what's your sense of of whose whose shoulders this should rest on? If it's not CEO Liddy, is there someone else who you think should be held responsible for this? Well, this has been unfortunately an inherited mess by the Obama administration uh, that's made worse by the latest revelations of these bonuses. I mean, it really shows arrogance, incompetence, and greed uh, on the part of AIG. Um, Mr. Liddy uh, is really being seen as somebody from the Bertie Madoff School of Management. Uh, it is unconscionable and unacceptable that while the taxpayers have invested $180 billion in AIG, they should at this time pay executives, including many who left the company, uh, millions and millions of dollars in bonuses. How reassured are you after what you've heard so far today that the U.S. Treasury, which is now the majority shareholder to some extent in AIG, that the U.S. Treasury, either in, under the Bush administration, before or under the Obama administration now is really doing its due diligence uh, to, to, to cover its bet. Well, I was very concerned when TARP originally came before us and, in fact, voted against TARP, not because I didn't think we needed to help the financial system, but because I thought it lacked oversight and accountability and transparency. We've seen all that in play with AIG. Uh, under former Secretary of the Treasury Paulson, uh, the money was given away without accountability, oversight, and transparency. That has continued today. Um, he, clearly, uh, President Obama and Secretary Geithner uh, are doing everything they can at this point uh, to find out what happened and get the bonuses back for the American people. Uh, Congressman Hose, a lot of outrage among you and your colleagues in the, in the subcommittee that's holding this hearing today. You want to take a little listen to what some of your colleagues had to say at the hearings this morning. The taxpayer knows that they are the ultimate sucker on the list of who pays for all of the greed that has been going on in the marketplace for years and years. People are sick of this double standard where working class and middle class workers are treated differently than the financial industry executives. What people are looking for is a sense of shared sacrifice. The greater outrage ought to be taxpayer money used to sustain counterparties to make them whole, counterparties who undertook a risk versus taxpayers who did not take the risk. And finally, the greater outrage ought to be over a Congress and a president who could have prevented all of this. A president who could have prevented all of this, according to a Republican member of Congress. And Congressman Hodes, do you buy that? Is there anything that, that President Obama or Secretary Geithner could have done to make this less of an issue by catching this on the front end instead of having to go in after the fact to get this money? Well, it's uh, disappointing that my Republican colleague wants to cast this in partisan terms. Uh, this is a problem that we inherited. Um, the circumstances that we're facing now are sure tough. Uh, but this started well before Mr. Obama and Mr. Geithner uh, got on the scene. With that said, we've got to uh, work together to find a solution. I think Chairman Frank has a good idea. I think AIG ought to be put in receivership, and I think there's a valid lawsuit that could be brought to recover the bonuses. Um, I think what we need to do is make the taxpayers whole, make sure our investment uh, is sound, uh, and we need to pass what uh, Chairman Frank and members of the committee tried to pass last session, which is strict oversight, accountability, and transparency in the use of TARP funds. Congressman, there's another proposal that seems to to be gathering steam in the Senate, uh, another way to make the taxpayers whole, and that is basically to tax the hell out of these bonuses and bonuses for other uh, companies that receive bailout funds. Do you think that's going to fly? Well, I'm not sure it works. I like the motivation. The motivation is to get the money back for the taxpayers. The problem may be that it's an ex post facto law or a bill of attainder, uh, which may make it unconstitutional. Uh, so if those issues can be addressed, that may also be a valid way to go after this money. Congressman Hodes, briefly, do you have have complete faith in Secretary Geithner's continual leadership at the, at, the sec at the Treasury Department? President Obama has expressed his faith in Secretary Geithner. How about you? I think Secretary Geithner is doing generally a good job, and I'm hoping that he's learning quickly how difficult the job he faces is. Congressman Paul Hodes from the House Financial Services Committee, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Well, oh, David, when we come back, we'll check in with a number of members of Congress.